Australians are no strangers to heat waves. In fact, heat waves are a normal part of Australian summer. So what are heat waves? Heat waves are three or more days of high maximum and minimum temperatures that are unusual for its location and climate history. Heat waves form when high pressure systems force air downwards, preventing the air near the ground from rising. The sinking air traps the warm air in place, which prevents evaporative cooling, and it causes the trapped air to get hotter and hotter. In Australia, things like drought and delayed monsoons in northern parts of Australia can contribute to more intense heat waves. The Bureau of Meteorology's Heat Wave Service can be a good indicator of what to expect over the warmer months. Heat waves are categorised by intensity, low level, severe and extreme. Severe heat waves can be dangerous for vulnerable people such as the elderly, pregnant women, babies and young children. Extreme heat waves are dangerous for anyone, regardless of how healthy you are. They can also affect infrastructure like transport and power. In these cases, it's important to avoid direct sunlight, drink plenty of water, wear protective clothing, and don't leave children or pets in the car. You should also check up on any elderly neighbours or friends. Heat waves can be fatal. Australia's worst heat wave in history occurred in January 1939. It killed 438 people across South Australia, Victoria and New South Wales. What can we expect this summer? The drought in Western Queensland and Northern New South Wales, along with a delayed monsoon in Northern Australia, means there is a higher risk of a heat wave in those areas until at least the end of the year. In the longer term, the Bureau of Meteorology predicts we'll see extreme heat waves more often in the future.